So tonight, the Ohio Department of Transportation laid out their demolition and repair plans for the 471 Daniel Carter Beard Bridge to us today. They are expecting the bridge to be open by hopefully early March. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live with a very complex repair job. Hi, Brian. Uh, yeah, Mike. Well, it is a complicated project. Now, they might not have needed E equals MC square to fix this bridge, but there is a theory of relativity here. What seems relatively fast in the world of bridge repair can be relatively slow when you sit in traffic every night. Repairs are coming to the 471 bridge over the Ohio River. So we had to develop very specialized detailed plans. But the most important road ODOT is working on is the one to the future. Construction is anticipated to begin in January. All work is expected to be completed in early March. ODOT announced the plans today. I think it's incredible that they've been able to do this. The timeline is squeezed out of a nearsighted crystal ball and might not hold up over the next three months, mostly because of one unpredictable factor. Will the weather be cooperative? And we can't answer that question today. The first step is demolition of the damaged section. That begins Friday. It's a complicated process with a 224 page instruction document for the demolition of the concrete alone. Next is the key to the entire timeline, the delivery of the steel beams. Now that we know steel will be here in mid-January, that has helped us to be able to formulate the timeline. Fire broke out in a massive playground set under the bridge. Major steel beams that are part of the girder system melted like they were made of candle wax. Every piece is a custom piece and will need to be fabricated. We're not looking at off the shelf materials that we can simply order from a supply catalog. So crews will have to deal with the dates of supplies that come on a truck. And the one thing that won't, time. Yeah, so March, early March is the target date for this. They do have some downtime built into the whole project, but uh, remember this is over the winter months. So weather and the delivery of those materials will be key and whether or not they can stay on that timeline. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, thank you. 911.